UAV recon standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. Okay. Harley for long. What is up, everyone? PG Dizzy here from Phase Gaming and TGN. Today I'm bringing you guys a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Damn, this game just came out, and I'm already addicted to it. Team Defender on Village. I'm using the Scar H with Sleight of Hand, Blast Shield, and Stalker. We're on Village, as I said, and this is a hell of a map. One of my favorites that they've had so far. I mean, I have to get used to all the other maps before I can really state a full opinion. But at the moment, this map is really one of the better ones. And as you guys know, I'm not going to dive too deep into topic on this, but... You guys know that I am never talk about the gameplay. In fact, I don't even really enjoy talking about the gameplay. But in this commentary, I'm going to change it up a little bit and talk about the gameplay a little. I'm going to talk about Modern Warfare 3 as a whole, but I'll mention the gameplay every, every here and every there. Yeah, that makes sense. Every now and then. And so don't get mad. Don't hate on that. Anyway, getting back to the topic, I'm using the Scar H, and I'm really loving this gun. You get it really early, really early, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I have to rank up to get it. And then right here, I pick up the sniper, the L11. This sniper is bomb. As you can see, quick scope in his back, no sway, no hit markers and all that jazz. Black Ops is gone. Black Ops is in the past. Infinity Ward is here, and they really took my vote on sniping this year. That kind of rhymed, and it didn't really intend to, so uh, that didn't even really make sense now that I think about it. But bottom line, sniping is beast in this game, and I really like it. They brought back quick scoping. They got rid of the hit markers. At least I haven't gotten any so far. You guys can tell me if you've gotten them only the first day, but um, anyway, uh, they gave, got rid of all that crappy stuff, and they really improved on stuff that people wanted them to improve on, Infinity Wards, that is, and, Infinity Ward, and, um, I mean, they lowered the damage of noob tubes, lowered the damage of nades, they made perks to counter nades and noob tubes, I mean, it's great stuff, I love how they, what they did with this game, and I really can't say that I love the game until time passes. Because last year with Black Ops, I said I loved the game, it was my favorite game ever, and I was addicted to it, I will say. Hi, my name's David, and I'm addicted to Call of Duty. <laughs> no, I was addicted to Black Ops back in the day, but after about two months past of the game being out, I really wanted to take my disc and run my car over with it. That didn't make sense, because I wouldn't run over my car with a video game, but you catch my drift. I really wanted to get rid of my game. Black Ops really didn't cut it for me, and what I'm trying to say is that you can't really get to know a game until time passes, because you could love it one day and then hate it the next, because it either gets boring or you just don't don't like it anymore. So I need to see what goes down the road with this game. I need to see if I keep liking it as time passes, and then you know it's a good game. But I will say at the moment, I'm really impressed with what they did with this game, and hopefully I'll stay to this game, because it's really, really great. I haven't even gone throughout all the features of killstreaks and everything. I've only unlocked some, so I can't wait till I unlock everything. But this game has really got my vote. Thumbs up at the beginning. I need to see how time passes, as I said. If you guys haven't bought it yet, I really recommend if you're a Call of Duty or first-person shooter, I recommend getting this game. This game is similar to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, but it also has a twist. It sort of has this theme that no other CODs really have. I mean, it sort of represents, this is probably going to spark a huge debate, spark a huge debate. Uh, but uh, in a way, I kind of see Battlefield, like the way the guy runs, see the sprint's different, everything's different. And I know that's going to spark a huge debate, because I don't know too much about Battlefield, so don't go... Whipping out your facts up your ass, <laughs> trying to prove me wrong with Battlefield. Go ahead, I don't really know too much about Battlefield. All I'm saying is that this sort of, it is a Call of Duty, and what everyone loves, or what I love at the moment, is that it sort of is different than a Call of Duty at the same time, which I really am enjoying, and hopefully I can stay to that. Anyway, getting back to this topic of Modern Warfare 2, 3, 2, see, I, I, that's how similar it is. Got me confused, but getting back to the topic of MW... <laughs> Wow. Getting back to the topic of MW3. Three. Three fingers are up. You can't see them, but they're up. And uh, anyway, getting back to the topic. If you guys are going to hate on this game, I mean, come on, grow up. If you don't like the game, then don't be watching this video. I mean, maybe you're just interested and you want to see it, but you don't have to take time out of your life to write a 10 page essay in a comment saying how bad this game is. I mean, hey, a lot of people like this game. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was one of the most sold copies of games in history the day it came out. And that really says something because people clearly like this game or want to buy it. So 
please just show some love. Don't show hate. Don't hate appreciate, as I always say. And <laughs> this game is great. My first takes on it are a thumbs up, as I said. The Scar H is a great gun, low levels, recap and everything. Sniping is back, so if you are not a friend of Black Ops, do not judge this game on Black Ops whatsoever. This game makes Black Ops look like it was a game for the Wii in 1979. I mean, the Wii wasn't out then, but as again, you can catch my drift. It's It's been a long school day, long projects. I, I've just been trying to get back to the game. And the game's ending. I'm sorry if I bored you guys a little, but I just wanted to give you guys some feedback on the first day. And I wanted to deliver a gameplay and commentary the first day Modern Warfare 3 was out. So if you guys could leave a like and show some support, that would be awesome. I would love you. I'd bake you cookies if I could send them to you via mail. <laughs> anyway, thanks you guys for watching. I'm Dizzy and I'm out. Thank you.